Your aptitude is your skill, capability, and ability to be able to accomplish whatever you want. Let me share something with you. Attitude, altitude, and your aptitude are interrelated. But guess what? Your aptitude will bring you to places that your attitude won't keep you. In other words, if you have the improper attitude, your aptitude will bring you to such altitudes that you won't be able to maintain a consistent level of performance and success based merely upon what type of attitude you choose. You see, positivity and negativity when it comes to all of these factors, uh, there's a little difference, but that little difference is big. The difference between having a positive attitude and a negative attitude is so big, yet so small in terms of being a catalyst that creates the change or circumstances that opens up doors for you to be able to be successful. I can't stress enough how not only does it affect you and your vision of what you can accomplish, it also is functions as it can be cancerous or tumor if you have the wrong attitude. Not only will your vision and aptitude be limited, but those around you will end up having the same type of cancerous or, or tumor-laden attitude that you put out there. It's contagious. Positivity is a contagious thing. When you bring that energy, when you bring that positivity, it causes such a change in the world. I mean, think about it. It's so easy to be negative. It's not easy uh, to be positive in the face of negative situations. The reality is sometimes negativity is just a test. How bad do you want it? One of my best friends always says, the, the guru says, it's, it's not about whether or not you can have it. It's how bad do you want it? How bad do you want to be successful? In fact, it's been said that when you want to be successful as bad as, it, as you want to breathe, that is when you'll reach new heights of success that you've never imagined before. Your aptitude is so important, but it also is interrelated and connected to your attitude. You cannot control everything that happens to you in life. So what I want us to do is try to be proactive instead of reactive. Look, you know, there's some people in life who are physically just stunningly gorgeous, but when they open up their mouth, their whole physical characteristics change as a result of their character, as a result of their attitude. Some people are downright just ugly, not because of their physical characteristics, but because of their persona, before, because of their attitude. Then there are some people who may not be, and we know, we know beauty is only skin deep, but then there are some people who may not be the people that get chosen to be the models, right? the individual that might not get the 10 always, physically speaking, when you're looking at them from the exterior. But believe you me, there's some people that might not be as physically gorgeous as we might want them to be, or as you might deem them to be, but yet when they open up their mouths and you, you recognize the strength of their character, when you recognize who they really are based upon their personality and really based upon their attitude, they become some of the most beautiful person or the beautiful people, most beautiful people that you've ever met in your life. In fact, some of the most beautiful people have been through the most hard hardships of life. They've been through some of the most downtrodden situations. Sometimes people, when they go through certain situations and experiences, they're the first people that are able to reach back and help somebody else because they've been there, they've done that. That's why I wrote 100 Days of Real Motivation. It's not about making money. It's because I recognize that we need more motivation. We need people to be more positive in life. We need to really try to be more positive and less negative in the world. Have a positive attitude. You'll meet high and exceed beyond the altitude that you could ever imagine or think and you'll be able to have the aptitude that you've never thought you could even reach and or imagine.
higher than the highest human thought could reach is actually God's ideal for his people. E.G. White.